Uh, just a quick video to run through the teach procedure using the uh, Flex Programmer device with the Clever Level LBFH, LBFI, LFFS, LBFS or even the PL20. So as you can see from the software at the moment I've got the sensor sat detecting nothing. Uh, it's, it's run, running at around about 88% on the, on the uh, scale. The two trigger points are set at factory settings of 0 and 75.3%. So switch one and switch two, not triggered. If I introduce the sensor to some media such as sugar, you can see the green lines moved to within both windows and now triggered on the both switches. I can quite easily move the window in around quite tight to the uh, switching threshold using the, t the, uh, the mouse to move this as so. So now you can see uh, the, the, the switching window is, is still set. So if I want to then ignore with switch two, I can move that window across to the left. So now you can see the values here and it's only switching on trigger one because it's within trigger one set point threshold windows. If I remove the media, you can now see it's just in air and it's not triggered. If I put it in the water, it'll trigger now on switch point two because that's falling within switch point two's threshold. If I then remove and then put it back in the sugar, switch point one is now triggered. Okay. Another method for teaching the sensor, so I'll just put back to factory settings, select yes. The sensor will then go back to, to the factory settings. And the, the, the next method for teaching is using the uh, teaching function. So it says, do you want to run the teaching? I say yes. Now it says, Empty the tank for no detection. If the media is sticky, put some of this uh, media on the tip, or if it's foamy and you want to ignore foam, put some foam on the tip. So this is the status that we want to ignore. So if we wanted to ignore this sort of scenario, where there's a buildup of sticky media on the tip, we'd, we'd do this. And we'd, if it was foamy, we'd put some foam on the tip. So that's saying what we want to ignore. Now it's saying fill the tank. Show it the situation that you want to detect. So if that's submersed in the chocolate, and now we select yes. Teaching's complete. Now it says, do I want to run switch point two? No, I want both sensors, sit switch points to be the same. So I just select no. Now you can see the sensor has derived its own settings for switch point one. So it's not detecting, it's detecting. Not detecting. So just a couple of easy ways to teach our clever level sensors. Thanks very much.